There are countless unexplained ancient enigmas which can be found atop a remote mountainside of Peru, within a site only rediscovered within known modern history, now famously known as Machu Picchu. Polygonal masonry. Although it is a technique found all over the world, the standard of polygonal masonry on show within the ancient sites of Peru is undoubtedly some of the most impressive found anywhere on Earth. However, as we have discussed in the past, with varying degrees of reaction to our discourse, ancient civilizations the world over, nearly all currently unexplained ancient ruins, no matter where they are found, has some form of celestial significance built into its construction. The controversial question, however, is why? Why do we see the monitoring and indeed celebration of solstices throughout ancient culture? Why, and indeed how, were these precise alignments accomplished? Is Intuahatana yet another astonishing relic, left as a nod to the advanced knowledge of its builder, people who somehow constructed the clock, and indeed Machu Picchu, the surrounding settlement? Now tied to countless legends as to its origins, the most popular, however, is that Intehuatana is, quote, the place where the sun becomes tangled, end quote. It was constructed with precise alignment, perfectly angled to face the four cardinal points. It is located at the top of the mountain, atop a structure adorned with 70 steps leading to its position. It is unquestionably an ancient upart, and is considered, by all who are aware of its existence, as a wonder of ancient technology. A solar clock, somehow created to indicate when it was precisely the winter solstice. It is, coincidentally, a time which is hugely significant to modern-day Peruvians. Known to the Incas as Inti Remi, the long-held local celebrations seem to coincide with the purpose of the clock, once undoubtedly created using tremendous effort and knowledge all in the effort to signify this same date, one which is officially the most important celebration of the entire empire. Is this pure coincidence? Or is this celebration a surviving tradition dating back to a forgotten antiquity? Incredibly, there are, in fact, two Intehuantanas or solar clocks within ancient Peru. One is located in Pisac, and the as forementioned Machu Picchu solar clock positioned on what is now classified as a sacred mountain. On September of 2000, a beer company was making a commercial when one of their cranes hit the solar clock. They unfortunately broke off part of the point and left the relic in a terrible condition. The National Institute of Culture, however, the INC, sued the company for damages in 2005 and was awarded an undisclosed amount. Who built these incredible ancient solar clocks? Why were so many ancient civilizations obsessed with the sun and indeed its activity and precessions? Were these ancient civilizations trying to tell us something? Why were so many ancient quarries left in a state of seeming abandon? As if the ancient people, once undertaking the movement and placement of ancient megaliths so huge, we today still cannot explain how they were moving them seemingly vanished right in the middle of said undertakings. Are these solar clocks, like the ancient quarries which still mystify all who explore them, a surviving clue as to the fate of this past civilization? They are, undoubtedly, highly compelling.